Um, first of all, thank you for, uh, for those who came to the mic and, and shared your, your, uh, your thoughts and your, your aspirations with me. And, and uh, I have to tell you, uh, I, I heard the sincerity in everyone there. You know, this is not a, a, an easy or a pleasant conversation for me to have. I, I don't get any uh, joy or pleasure out of thinking about closing a school, and I don't take it very lightly, and, and I've listened carefully to the comments that you've made tonight. You've heard a couple of, uh, a couple of your teachers ask me, you know, what would it take to keep the school open? You heard them use the word transformational. I mean, I, I, again, I'm going to be a straight shooter tonight, and the message may not be an easy one for some of the folks in this room. I have to tell you, uh, I'm not convinced that the Board of Trustees is together at this point. I'm not convinced that the Board of Trustees understands the kind of changes they've got to advocate for and support actively, that the kind of changes that would give me the confidence that I could go back to the State Board of Education and say, you know what, let's give them another chance, but let's tighten the reins, right? Uh, you know, you've heard a couple of people here refer to this notion of a management company. There are companies in the United States, uh, some are called charter management companies, they're companies that specialize in running charter schools. Some are called educational management companies. Uh, they don't limit what they do to charter schools, but their business is running schools. In my judgment, nothing short of a solution here for this school, uh, uh, short of a solution that has these elements, these, these two core elements, one is a, um, a group that's got the experience and the track record in successfully running a school. And number two, a group that knows how to upgrade curriculum and the instructional program, the reading program, the math program, writing, science, social studies, in a very deliberate, systematic way Nothing short of, of a solution that has those two elements is going to give me confidence that, uh, that if we give Lowell Community Charter School another year or two years, that a year from now, two years from now, we're going to be in a very different place when we have this conversation than we are tonight. So I don't know how I can be clearer to your Board of Trustees in what it would take for me to, to have confidence, enough confidence that I could uh, bring a recommendation to the State Board of Education that gave the school another chance. That other chance would, would, would not be a five year. It would be let's, let's give the school another year, another two years to see if they can uh, actually uh, take take new leadership, new management of the school, implement new curriculum uh, in a way that's going to make a difference for the young people. You know, I, I want to tell you, you've got great assets to build on here. The diversity, the language, the, the diversity of language background, the language opportunities for students, the music, those are all strengths of this school. But if a young person, and it's happening to too many young people in this school, if a young person goes to eight, eight or nine years in a school and comes out with very low reading levels, very low math levels, all of the other pieces are great, but their opportunities are really limited. I will certainly um, keep my mind open as we go forward uh, and uh, regardless of what happens here, I certainly wish every single person in this room the best for you and your children.